I told you to stay away from him, Angelita. He's no good. She's bid to become the Democratic candidate in the race for New York State governor. Did you hear? Yeah, they think Angel's killer's gonna be president. Yeah, over my dead body. Is it Titi's pension? Because if I'm gonna go to school next quarter, we need to send him a check soon. There are a lot of things we didn't know about Angela. Might have been an accomplice to Jamie St. Patrick in his drug business. So she did this to herself? She did this to herself and she did this to us. No, she's the reason we're able to live in this apartment. Jamie did. A and we're supposed to do what? Sit here and wait for the government to cut us a check while he's out there kissing babies? Everything that Titi worked for is gone. She's gone. She wanted Poppy in the nursing home and she wanted me in school. Is that happening? And Jamie is still out there and there is nothing I can do about it. I don't know about nothing. Sometimes the only way to deal with the violent world is with violence. Don't say that. This family has gone through too much. And you're putting us through even more. And then what happens to me? My life. I can't take care of Bobby by myself. I'll figure something out. What the hell do you think you're doing? If you won't let me take care of this right now, you'll be obsessed with this for the rest of Are your you? life. You did this to me too, and I want my life back. I want our life back. I want you back. I already lost Angela, and I am not going to lose you too. He left it to you. You gotta be kidding me. Because I didn't take it. I don't have to accept this charity. I can't profit off my sister's death. You need the money, and James didn't kill her. Okay, look. Tommy is the one who killed Angela. I need you to kill the man that murdered my sister. Yeah, I can't do that. Take the money. I know you need it. Yeah, am I going back to school? Yes, baby, you are. Hey, Danielle, where's our CI? He's transported out. He's in critical condition, in and out of consciousness. Copy that. Why are you still standing here? Get to work. And now it's a stalemate. No one's moving any product. Ah, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Tariq, he's moving weight somewhere. Wall Street douchebags love their drugs, and Weston Holdings is the perfect market for it. It's negative. Sugar. Hello, everybody. This is now bank robbery. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love power, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now today, we're gonna be talking about Power Book 2 Go Season 3. Angela's nephew, Agent Young, AKA Junior, he will be a problem. I'll let you guys know that right now. I know a lot of people have been asking me to talk about you know Agent Young, and we've been seeing him since the beginning of this season, of Power Book 2 Ghost Season 3, but we also seen him in the original Power, Power Season 6. He was a part of the whole pod storyline or whatever, so we will talk about that in this video. You guys, make sure you check out my last few videos. I dropped the Power Book 2 Ghost Season 3. The Castillos, they coming for your boy, Drew. He's in trouble. We know Evelyn and her son, they ain't playing around, and it seems like he's going to be in a lot of trouble in these next few episodes, but I believe he just may get that help from his brother Kane. And also check out the Power Book 2 Ghost Season 3. Your boy Kane and Effie, they hook up, but it's Effie Kane's downfall. So watch those videos. Continue to keep yourself updated on all the latest Power News, and I will continue to give you guys this content. But let's talk about the topic of discussion. Agent Young, a.k.a. Junior, Angela's nephew, Paz's son. We saw him in the original Power, and we know it was a lot of issues going on, right? And this dude, 
he done became a DEA agent very quickly. You know what I'm saying? Because the last time we saw him, um, he was talking about going to school. So he must have had some great connections or they just said, you know what? We're going to throw him in this storyline and make it that much more interesting. It seems like that's what they're doing, in my opinion. And it can make the storyline more interesting depending on how they write it out. Now, we know all this stuff that he is doing, Agent Young, is personal, y'all. We know everything he's doing is very personal because it ties back to his original storyline on how he put a lot of blame on James St. Patrick for doing what he's done to his family. He wanted to take him out, but we know Paz told him don't do it. And we also know he put a lot of blame on Angela herself, telling his mom, like, look, she put this on herself. She's the one that made the decision to mess around with ghosts and, you know, allegedly be a part of this whole drug, you know, organization helping him out. So he understood what time it was. He wasn't stupid, but he still wanted to take out James St. Patrick. And it's crazy because at the end of Power Season 6, we know Pa, she finds out that Ghost did not take out Angela and the whole time it was Tommy Egan, right? It was Tommy. So this is why I say this whole storyline is very interesting because now it's starting to tie everything together. Now, if you notice in the show, they're not giving us a whole lot of Agent Young. We get a little bit of him, you know, in these episodes, just enough, but they haven't really dived deep on his storyline, which I believe they will open up a little bit more. But as I told you guys, I believe it's going to tie everything together with this whole Tommy thing because we know Blanca Rodriguez, she was in Power Book for Force. She's investigating what's going on there and she's investigating what's going on in New York. And I believe once they see that Tommy is alive, that's going to make everything go crazy, y'all. Especially if Paz told her son that Tommy was the one that took out Angela. He's going to be pissed off and he's going to want to get payback. Y'all saw what he was on in the original Power. He was about that life. You know what I'm saying? He was about to put your boy Ghost down if that's what he had to do. But it goes to show you how serious he is when it comes to his family and protecting them. And even though he's with law enforcement, I'm going to tell you right now, this guy, he is willing to get illegal if he has to in order to get the job done. And I'm just saying that this based off what we already saw from him in the original Power. But I hope that they tie all of this together. Seeing how Agent Young is working with Blanca Rodriguez with the DEA, it ties back to Tommy Egan. At the same time, we also have to remember that Blanca Rodriguez, she had, you know, an eye out for Angela in the original Power. When we first saw her character in Power Season 5, she was already suspicious of Angela and some of the things that she was doing, especially involving Raymond Jones and if she was helping out Ghost in his organization. So it's funny to see in Agent Young's first scene in Power Book 2 Ghost, He's, you know, with Blanca Rodriguez, a person who was investigating Angela. So it makes it very interesting. I'm glad that they put this in there. I'm just hoping, as I told you guys, I'm hoping that they, you know, tie all of this together because this crossover episode, y'all, it's going to be major. Just imagine Power Book 4 Force and Power Book 2 Ghosts, a crossover. But this time they know Tommy is alive and now they're trying to connect the dots. I want to know how Tariq's going to feel about all of this once he finds out what's going on and if they actually bring this, you know, storyline to light. But y'all know they're building up something, especially at the end of Power Book 4 Force, how they show Blanca kind of investigating everything that was going on in Chicago. And we know Medina didn't really want her to, you know, put a lot of attention on that. But still, y'all know Blanca, she's not going to stop. She's going to continue to do what she wants to do because she believes she can catch somebody. And if it's Tommy Egan, you already know what time it is. And if Agent Young does find out that Tommy was the one that took out his, you know, his, his auntie Angie, oh, it's going to be hell to pay. I just can't wait to see how it's all going to play out. But as I always tell you guys, these small characters, these are the characters that you got to watch out for. Agent Young, he is very dangerous, even though he's a smaller character, but expect his storyline to open up a lot more. If you notice, there's a whole lot going on in Power. They don't have a whole lot of time to put everything that they want to put in in these episodes. And I'm pretty sure they probably wanted to put more about Agent Young's story in these episodes. But I'm expecting, in my prediction, I believe in Season 4, we will see more of his character, more of his story. And he will be more of a threat to Tariq, the Tejada family, and everybody that's involved in this drug organization. But y'all leave your theories, predictions. Leave it all down below. We will continue to talk about Power Book 2 Ghost Season 3 this week. So stay tuned for the videos. But I want to thank you guys once again for all the love, all the support. And I will catch y'all on the next one. 
But let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.